Well, I, I think, you know, first of all, a lot of customers have questions about how Hadoop fits in with everything. And, you know, to some extent, you know, my comment about Hadoop is it has to declare its major for really, you know, everyone to under, understand it. Because, you know, you even heard today there's guys that are focusing on the HBase side. There are guys that are focusing on the analytics side. So, you know, is it a transaction processing system um, like, you know, some of the guys were implying? Is it a purely analytics environment? Um, so Informatica is really kind of seeing, you know, seeing this like everyone evolve. Um, I think that you know the most natural cases right now are around the analytics. Um, they're not really a substitute for other things that are going on. We're seeing it as a complement to existing analytic environments. Uh, you know, Hadoop doesn't you know yet support the full range of SLAs that you see with some of these traditional analytic environments, but it seems like it's it's getting there. Uh, so you know, I think it's just it's just early days with Hadoop, and I'd say that a lot of the people that I talk to at the conference yeah. are still just trying to figure out you know what what it is, what it means to them, and where it fits in with their so, IT landscape. So it's, it's it's maybe a major in in analytics with a minor in transaction processing. Is that your sort of vision for the future? How do you see that shaping up? Well, I think that you know I wouldn't want to presuppose anything about Hadoop right now. I think that it kind of looks that way now. Um, I think that there's um, nothing but green space or green field ahead of Hadoop. Yeah, very smart guys working on it. Yeah, I think when you look at how Hadoop got started, some of you know, the early papers that came out of um, both uh, Google and Amazon. Uh, now, it reminded me a lot of how relational databases got you know, really kick-started. So like back in the 70s, Cod and Date write a paper, Larry Ellison and Bob Miner read the paper, and it's like, hey, I'm, I'm you know, reading about the future here. And when you read the you know, seminal papers around Hadoop and MapReduce, it's like, hey, you, you get a feeling like you're really glim glimpsing the future of something. And I think like we didn't know exactly how relational databases would evolve at that point, you know, it's a little bit early to tell where Hadoop is going. I think it's going to have a healthy footprint in, in both transactions. I mean, you got to like the attendance.